know you're up to something, and I'm gonna find out what. I'll have to work out a sneakier way to get into your evil mind lair. is way bizarro. She even rushed out today without her morning latte. You don't think she has new BFFs, do you? <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to find out. You mean ask her? As if. Hmm. I mean spy on her. Come on. Find a new spytastic persona. One jazz hands will totally fall for. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now to capture the moment, whoop style. Hmm. Dear Mr. Hands, you are a misunderstood genius. Love to meet you, your biggest fan, Miss Spirit Fingers. Two Mr. Jazz Hands, rush! <laughs> wouldn't want you guys snooping through my stuff like this. Well, don't go acting all freaky, Alex, and you won't have to. <gasps> oh, no! It's true! What's true? Sam's still wearing this turquoise mock turtle! It's so last season. Clover! We're supposed to be looking for clues, not fashion blunders. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Okay, this is weird. What's this envelope doing oh. in Sam's sock drawer? Knowing Sam, it's probably some Mondo <gasps> secret homework assignment. Operation Secret Partnership? Secret Partnership? With who? I don't know, but he doesn't look like a nice guy. Subject is considered brilliant, but dangerous? Cool and calculated, but prone to impulsive behavior. So Sam's got a secret dossier about a secret partnership with an evil supervillain? And worst of all, she's hiding it from us. Uh-oh. <gasps> Red alert! Red alert! Operation Secret Partnership has just been breached! What? I'm sure there's a perfectly good reason why Sammy's partnering up with an evil supervillain. Yeah! Like maybe she's become one herself! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It sounded like a super shrill, super annoying scream, which can only mean one thing. <gasps> And what's with the majorly bad hair day? Ugh, this pie burst in our room and like the whole place is soaked. But no biggie, we'll just stay here with you guys. <laughs> uh, sorry, Mandy, but we're kind of full up. No probs, we'll just crash on the couch. Yeah, you won't even know we're here. Woo, you guys are lucky. This place is seriously fab. And we can make it even fabber. I see fluorescent peach wallpaper, bow for throw rugs, popping tiles in the kitchen. Well then, you need to get your eyes checked because no one puts hot pink tiles in my kitchen. Yeah, we'll just see what the RA has to say about this. Oh. Is it me or is the stain turning out way here? Not to mention way smelly. Spies, I have an urgent mission for you. I hope so. I hate to think we went trash surfing for nothing. Wait a sec, where's Sammy? We can worry about Samantha later. A devious supervillain named The Bully is on the loose, and you two have to stop him right away. We're on it, Jer. What's his location? Huh? 
He's working his evil plan as we speak at Beverly and Monroe. Beverly and Monroe? Isn't that like a playground? And a dangerous one at that. No time to waste. But what about our guest? <laughs> Thanks, Jer. That was a close one. I mean, even if I totally miss working with Alex and Clover, I can't have them blowing my cover. My pleasure, Sam. After all, what are secret partnerships for? Hello? Is this me spirit fingers? Why, yes it is. This is Jazz Hands. I received your delightful photo. You did? Yes, and I was quite impressed by it. Perhaps we should meet. I'll be there. Hmm. In a hurry, much? I mean, what's with Jer sending us on a mission sans spy gear? Maybe the bully is so evil and devious the gadgets won't work on him. Hey, there he is! He looks kind of small. And mean! I can't believe some pint-sized supervillain wants to terrorize a bunch of little kids! Something tells me we don't need gadgets to pull this off. Hey, Shrimp! Yeah? I'm talking to you! <laughs> Drop the balls right now! <laughs> hey! Whoa! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Tips is way difficult! <laughs> hey! Where'd he go? What beats me? I'll go this way, you go that way. Down there. I was just playing dodgeball. Please don't hurt me, lady. Whoa, he is just a little kid. Don't worry, sweetie. We're not gonna hurt you. You run along now. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Why did Jer even send us on such a kooky mission? Maybe he got some bad info, or maybe Whoop is running out of real supervillains for us to fight. Though, without him answering our calls, I guess we'll really never know for sure. It's just as well. Something real's going on with Sam, and our most urgent mission is to find out what. You're right. We've got to get back on her trail. Hey, if she has her X-Powder on her, we can totally track her. Awesome idea. But first, we need to score a few gadgets. But how are we going to do that without going back to Whoop? Simple. We improvise. <laughs> They'll have to do for now. Thanks, kids. We'll bring everything back as soon as we can. It's just so few people understand the sublime greatness of mime. They don't know what they're missing. Mime is the purest expression of the human heart. That is so true. According to my X powders GPS, Sam should be right around here. Then why don't I see her? Wait a minute, isn't that... That is? I am the world's greatest mime! What? I have a diploma from the International Mime Academy. You may not understand the intricate craft of mime. What's Freaky Mind Guy doing here? Good question. This place is way too trendy for evil supervillains. And who's that Freaky Mind Girl with him? I don't know, but it's a good thing we brought gadgets. Miss Spirit Fingers, I 
believe it is destiny, fate, uh, kismet that brought us together. For me, it was an overpowering feeling of duty to be of service to the greatest mime the world has ever known. She's someone called Miss Spirit Fingers. Uh, but wait, recognize that voice? It's Sam! <gasps> Sammy? <laughs> and I hate to see you toiling all alone, trying to awaken the world to the genius of mime. If only I could help you in your righteous plight. You can indeed. My master plan! This will revolutionize the way mimes are treated forever. <laughs> Sam's secret partnership is with Jazz Hands! She really has gone over to the other side! So Miss Spirit Fingers is her evil supervillain name? Lame, right? You think after all these years of battling baddies, she'd come up with something cooler. <laughs> And after I'm done with my masterpiece, the public will have no choice but to accept, no, to love mimes! Um, what exactly do you mean by no choice? <gasps> but before you can be part of my grand plan, Miss Spirit Fingers, you must prove your loyalty to me by procuring this. Anything for the betterment of mimes everywhere. Not to mention, the supervillain thing is totally not your look. Come on, we gotta see what our next evil move is. Hello? Hi, Clover! You're gonna love what we've done to the place. Done? It looks so much hipper now, but we're like totally stunned with the wallpaper. I like pink with purple polka dots, and maybe like purple with pink polka dots. Maybe? If you change anything in our place, you're gonna be seeing pink and purple polka dots. What?
No clothes, and you have to live in for the next 20 years. Hmm. How'd she do that? She didn't. I did. Jerry, you're letting her out? But she's Miss Fearfinger's evil supervillain. I'm afraid she's still Sam, whoop super spy. Undercover super spy, to be precise. <gasps> you mean you went undercover without telling us? Well, she wouldn't be a very good undercover agent if everybody knew about it, would she? Hmm. He's got a point. No, he doesn't! We're her partners! It was crucial that Whoop find out Jazz Hand's next plan without tipping him off. It was only safe to have one spy in deep cover, and we needed to keep it on the QT. I even limited my contact by communicating with her indirectly. Getting me Jazz Hand's dossier through that vending machine was totally ingenious. Indeed it was. Though quite uncomfortable. So, Sammy isn't an evil supervillain after all? Or not in the slightest. Awesome! I'm so glad you're not upset. Upset? Are you kidding? We're way stoked! Yeah, we totally got our BFF back. But remember, spies, Jazz Hand still thinks Sam is Miss Spirit Fingers, his willing partner in evil, so she must deliver the stolen microchip as planned. But now you can be my contacts on the outside while I infiltrate Jazz Hand's evil organization. Deal. Yeah! yeah. Speaking of evil infiltration, Mandy and Mindy are still at our penthouse redecorating! What? We'll explain on the way home. After returning our gadgets to the kids at the playground. Clover? Oh dear, this calls for immediate action. <gasps> Just wait till you see your bedrooms! <laughs> Not quite, but desperately needed nonetheless. After all, you can't exactly keep a low profile with those two around.
microchip, or all this will be meaningless. So our sinister mind friends building something called Mime World? When I was undercover investigating him, Jazz Hand showed me the schematics. It's a new theme park dedicated to all things mime. He even has a mime animal petting zoo. Random much? Like, what kind of person would go to a lame place like that? A petting zoo? Awesome! <laughs> when does it open? Can you get us free passes, please, please? But the most bizarro part is mime world doesn't sound very evil. It's trade tacky, which unfortunately isn't a crime yet. It's evil, all right. I mean, what use could a theme park have for a high-speed cyber module from a super-secret weapons lab? Maybe he wants to catch people trying to cut in line. Sam's right. There's evil afoot. But for now, our hands are tied because Jazz Hands has done nothing illegal yet. Nothing that we know of. The only thing we do know is it was you working undercover as Miss Spirit Fingers who stole the microchip. All we can do is keep an eye out for suspicious behavior. Speaking of suspicious behavior, what's with all the mad scientist stuff? I know! You're making some sort of awesome new cutting-edge gadget! Is it nanobot nose spray to make our sense of smell as good as canines? Oh, I bet it's rejuvenating moisturizer that glows in the dark! Wrong on all counts. When completed, this will be the ultimate hair growth serum. I finally concocted the perfect blend using nothing but all-natural ingredients. Wow! The first all-natural gadget! We can use it to grow hair to keep warm on Arctic missions! <laughs> Jerry, what are you doing?! It's not a gadget, Spies. As a young lad, I had quite the mop top. I ache for a return to those carefree days, and this serum will do the trick. Behold! Um, why are you wearing earmuffs, Jer? Hmm? Oh, well. Back to the drawing board. But first, gadgets for your undercover mission. The Superfab Wire Firing Bracelet, Diamond Encrusted Platinum Buzzsaw Earrings. It's such a relief to have real gadgets again. And of course, your suction low gravity go go. <laughs> this time, perhaps a little less seaweed extra. <laughs> the only ones. What could Jazz Hands be up to with like a zillion people around? That's what you guys have to find out. Meanwhile, I better get the microchip to him before he gets suspicious. Wait a minute. Isn't it like too crowded to do any real snooping? Not if you try to blend in. What? With those people? Brody, how are we supposed to blend in with such a tragically geeky crowd? I know. We'll go dress as total geeks. If I had a private island, I'd fill it with a bunch of tanned hotties, not dorky tourists. Maybe I was wrong about Miss Spirit Fingers. <clears throat> Waiting for this? Hmm. You've come back, my lovely. <laughs> Bearing wonderful treasure. I wouldn't miss the grand opening for the world. It looks like such fun. The real fun has yet to begin. Once I install this microchip, my world will be all the rage! Um, Mr. Hands, since I've proven my loyalty and all, maybe I can help you install the chip and be part of your big plan? Ah, but I want it to be a surprise for you, my biggest fan. You can help by entertaining our many guests. Uh, entertain? Uh... Um, how about doing the timeless classic miming on the moon routine? Right. Um, miming on the moon. Yeah, okay. Here it goes. Didn't you learn that on your first day of mom school, as all mom students do? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's just, I, I haven't done it in years. <laughs> it's kind of rusty. <laughs> Ooh. She's more than kind of rusty. Yes! If any cute guy 
guys see me? Tell them I thought it was Halloween. <laughs> hey, looky, looky, the My Petting Zoo. <laughs> Clover, Alex, Sam, what on earth are you doing? Some weird dance from like 10 years ago? Listen, I'm kind of tied up right now, but Jazz Hands is headed your way. I can't leave here or he'll know. I thought mimes weren't supposed to talk. Yes! This time I know it will work. But I think right now we should find out what Jazz Hands is doing with that microchip. But he could be anywhere. Huh? Maybe we need a spy's eye view. Clover! <laughs> this wire firing bracelet is super fab. Going up. was more than just a theme park. The question is, what's his evil plan? Surprise me, spirit thinkers? When it comes to sneaking up on someone, mimes are the best. Sam, you're the one who locked me up in that dank whoop dungeon. And if it were up to me, you'd still be there. I did my time. And now it's time you did yours. <laughs> Mind box. Looks like I'm trapped forever. Hey! <gasps> <laughs> Never underestimate the power of pantomime. <laughs> it's really weird that Sam hung up on me like that. <laughs> There's Sam. But what's she doing? Oh, please! That invisible box routine is so plain. Come on, let's go get her focused on the mission. Huh? No! Stay back! Sam, 
Um, you're getting way too into this mime stuff. It's kind of creepy. The problem isn't getting into it. It's getting out! <laughs> What's going on? You're trapped, my dear, in the rushing tide of mime history. That's one history I don't want to be a part of. Now let us out. We'll never get away with this. Oh, I already have. You three will have the privilege of witnessing me launch my vast new army of militant mimes to turn the world 100% mime. Ladies. Wow. How'd you do that? What better way to untie mime rope than with mime? Uh, Jer, don't you think it's time you gave up that hair serum stuff? Yeah, when I'm this close to success? Well, I guess you're finally getting hair in places it's actually supposed to grow. Exactly. And if it grows long enough, it'll make a dandy comb over. Hopefully not before we save Sam and stop Jazz Hands' evil plan. <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!
I could only reverse the effects of this device. You'd better do it fast, because we've got a mini mime to catch. And Sam to save, too. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> The day it was too dangerous to go shopping on Rodeo. Here are your new Cool Shade Shield Spies. They'll protect you from involuntary mimification. They're fantastic. Not to mention Beb Hill's Super Sheep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. that somewhere deep inside there's a vestige of the delightful Miss Spirit Fingers yearning to break free and mime once again. Don't worry, there's gonna be no more miming in Beverly Hills for a long, long time. But what's gonna happen to Mime World? Whoop will be turning it into a super secret research facility with its very own petting zoo. Yay! <laughs> and it's all thanks to the fine work of you three super spies. <laughs> And from now on, it'll be all three on every mission. No more solo undercover operations. Yay! <laughs> Good, because I'd never spy without you guys again anyway. Uh, Jer, are you miming? Well, my hair serum unfortunately didn't work out. So I'm settling for the next best thing, mime hair. <laughs>
this year, things are going to be very different in the world of campus sporting events. Very different indeed. <laughs> a total shoe in Siri's right. You're so mascot material. Besides, who else could they choose to wear that way cute mermaid suit at this evening's Malayu Riptide State Beach Sport Mega Tournament? <laughs> Welcome, co-eds, to this semester's Malayu Mascot Ceremony. Though I received many essays, applications, and resumes, there was one entry that truly stood out. Alex's video presentation. Hi, I'm Alex, the perfect candidate for Mally U Mermaid. <laughs> Not only am I way friendly, but I care deeply about my school. See? Plus, I always keep up to date on campus events, like this sandal sale at Mally U Shoe. But most importantly, <laughs> I've got more spirit than a thumb finger! Go, Mally U! Because of her great submission, she's been chosen to be your new mascot! <gasps> no way! I won! Alex, please join me on stage to take your mascot oath. Do you, Alex, swear to defend the honor of Mally U, proudly wearing your costume to all school events? Yes and yes! Then without further ado, I present you with your official mascot uniform. Mermaid has been replaced with a more politically correct mascot. A can of dolphin safe tuna. And that concludes our ceremony. See you at sundown. Way to go, Al! Yeah! You completely blew away the competition. Oh, lucky me. Now instead of being a cute mermaid, I get to parade around as some goofy tin of fish. Well, look on the bright side. Even if you look a little silly, you still get to cheer on the school. And if you're truly living in Embarrassment City after the beach tourney, you can always quit. Tell that to the oath I just took. Oh. Guess there's only one thing that's going to cheer you up. A coffee fest at the Mally Cafe! Oh. Either Alex's costume is too heavy for the stage to handle, or we're about to be... <laughs> Judging by this kooky conduit, I'm going with the spy mission scenario? Uh. <sighs> Looks like the coffee fest will have to wait! Uh. Hello, ladies. Hey, Jer. Um, where's Alex? I'm in huh? here! <laughs> and I'm stuck. Oh, my! Thanks for the rescue, Jer. You're quite welcome. And though I'd love to know why you're dressed in that absurd outfit, I'd best get to the reason I brought you here. Last night, a student was attacked on the Malayu campus. <gasps> no way! I can't believe it! That your fellow co-ed was the victim of a strange assault? No! That we finally get to do some investigating close to home! Uh, so, what was so strange about the attack, Jer? Allegedly, the assault was not committed by a human. Ricky! So who was this student? Hey, that's Rick Keegan, captain of the Malayu Freestyle Surf Squad! Don't worry, we'll go check him... <laughs> I mean the situation out ASAP. Not without gadgets, you won't. Today I give you an innovative new substance called glass gas, some turbo roller skis, and the silent siren tracking device. It emits a sound traceable by your ex-powders, but undetectable to the human ear. Thanks, boss! My pleasure. And so is this. <laughs> This is the place. <gasps> Clover, we can't just waltz in. We're gonna need a cover of some kind. I couldn't agree more. 
Cute Mally You Candy Striper outfit, anyone? Great idea, Sammy. We can pretend that Mally You Health Center sent us. Sure beats my lame tuna suit. Come in! Hi, Reek. We are your official Mally You Candy Stripers. As in, if you need your water glass filled or your pillows fluffed, we're totally your girls. Sounds great. Though what I really need is a toe scratch. I've got an itch that's beyond gnarly. Ugh. You got it. Uh, you want to take care of that, Alex? Ugh, me? As if? <laughs> I, I mean, sure. As if I wouldn't jump at the way cool opportunity. <laughs> so, Reek, what in the world happened to you? I don't know. I was walking home from the beach when something swooped down from the sky and attacked me. Swooped down from the sky? <gasps> yeah, like it was flying. I tried to fight it off with my board, but I tripped and sprained my ankle. Well, whatever it was, it definitely wasn't friendly. You got that right. And the worst part is, now I'm going to miss the big tournament against Riptide State. <gasps> uh, sorry, Reek. Duty calls. Yeah, looks like we're going to have to move on to our next patient. Bye. Uh, oh? Hey. Call me. <laughs> What took you so long to answer my call? Sorry, Jer. We were scoping out Reek's thrash surfboard, among other things. Well, I need you to scope out another attack currently in progress on the Malayu Beach. Don't sweat it, Jer. <laughs> we're on it. Don't want you getting injured before your debut. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> Do you see anything? <gasps> there, that's the captain of the Malibu Beach badminton team. Ah! Why is this more like it? Come on, Spies, we've got to act fast. Shredded. We can worry about that later. Right now, we've got to snag Mr. Batman and bag our body. Okay, on three. One, two, three! to get a good look. Tell me about it. I was practicing my serve when all of a sudden I found myself under fire. That's terrible. Not as terrible as hurting my thumb. Now I can't participate in the tournament. Uh... Two injuries on two beach jocks? Is it me or are you girls beginning to see a pattern here? Aha! I see it all right. And it's made of feathers. Oh, please, Alex. Those are probably from a pigeon or something. A really big pigeon. I don't know, Clover. The ex-potter says these feathers are synthetic. Your point? That Jer was right? Whatever we're chasing isn't human. And if we don't want anyone else to get hurt, we better find out who or what is behind this right away. According to the ex-potter, the silent siren tracking device is way close. Then that means our bad guy is too. alarm. Actually, I think we are in the right place. How do you know? 
Even though we may not be able to hear the silent siren, this cat sure can. He's got great hearing. <gasps> you poor baby. We didn't mean to hurt your fuzzy little ears with our evil siren. <laughs> now that that crisis is over, it's time for a little B and E. Let's see what the glass gas can do for us. Basic ordinary basement to me. Yeah, except for this. Stocky much? Weird. I wonder if our baddie goes to Mally you. Something tells me that's a no. Ew! What is that creepy thing? <gasps> it's Sigmund the Seagull, the mascot suit from Riptide State. And it's wearing our tracking device. Talon like feet, pointy beak, white feather exterior. Do you know what this means? Yeah. We just found our baddie. Well, at least the outside of him. This is no ordinary mascot suit, girls. It's been tricked out with all kinds of gadgets and stuff. Guess that explains the flying and the laser fire. Hey! Actually, you can thank my mechanical engineering major for that. <laughs> like, who are you? Sigmund Smith, just a run-of-the-mill school spirited student from Riptide State. Run of the mill? As if! You and your Goonie bird suit have been attacking athletes at Mally U! True. But taking out Mally U's top competitors was the only way to ensure that my school won this evening's tournament. <sighs> you see, we've lost six years in a row. As the Rip State mascot, I just couldn't let it happen again! Please, save your bogus baddie blathering for someone who cares. Yeah, it doesn't matter what your M.O. is, we are not about to let you get away with your evil plan. Especially since I took a mascot out to defend Mally U. Allow me to introduce you to my newest gadget, the Rapid Firing Egg Backpack! That hurts! You haven't seen anything yet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to destroy Mally U! Wait a sec! Since when is destroying Mally U part of your plan? Yeah! I thought you just wanted to take out a few athletes and win the mega tournament! That was before you broke into my basement and called my seagull suit Goonie! Now it's all out war! I'm sorry you'll miss the show. <laughs> of course, you'll have bigger things to worry about here! <laughs> <laughs> so, when he said we had bigger things to worry about here, do you think that that was just more blathering? <gasps> no such luck! It looks like we're about to be pressed into a spy patty! <gasps> Wait! What do we do now? <gasps> Turn the tracking device back on! What good will that do? It isn't attached to the battery! It'll give our little friend here just enough motivation to claw us to freedom. Oh, I don't know, Clover. That sounds kind of mean. Don't worry, Alex. It won't hurt the cat. Just annoy him a little. And besides, it'll only last a few seconds. Okay, but hurry up before I change my mind. We wish all of our students the very best of luck. But before we begin, I'd like to introduce Mally Yu's newest mascot. In the role of the dolphin safe can of tuna, I give you Alex. 
Because a real bird couldn't do this! <laughs> oh! Now say goodbye, spies! <laughs> hey, Sigmund! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Alice! Gladly! Congratulations on yet another successful mission, ladies. No probs. You know, except for the part where I got sand under my nails and egg in my hair. So, what are we going to do about our fellow co-eds, Jer? They kind of saw us in spytastic action. As always, Whoop will remedy the situation. <gasps> Speaking of situations that need remedying, there's a little cat that needs a new home now that its owner's being relocated to the Whoop containment facility. Don't fret. Aww. Whoop will take the cat to WUAP, the World Organization of Animal Protection. Cheerio! Alex, there you are. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for saving the day and the campus. Just doing my job, sir. About that. I'm afraid I'll need to revoke your mascot status. <gasps> revoke it? Why? For damaging your costume. Huh? Dolphin safe tuna can mascot suits don't grow on trees, you know. 
guess this means you won't have to take the trip to Embarrassment City after all. I don't know, Clover. Even if my costume was goofy, I was really starting to get into it. Don't worry, Alex. You're still our team mascot. That's right. Now, what do you say we go to the Mally Cafe and cheer on some coffee drinks? <laughs> Futuristic friend. Oh, crap. with us. It's so unlike her. Ugh, no doubt. She must have had something way major on her sked to skip the beach. Uh, let me guess. What's the one thing that can keep Clover away from the shore? Hmm. A boy. Uh, guys, you're coming back from the beach already? There's still like 15 minutes of good sun left. Uh, Clover, we were there for like four hours. Yeah, if we stayed any longer, we would have had to pay rent to the lobsters. Oh. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, so who's your friend, Clover? <laughs> uh, this is my new beau, Wilhelm. We've been at one of his weightlifting competitions all day. Wilhelm, I'd like you to meet Sam and Alex. Hi. Hmm. Uh, uh, nice to meet you, too. So, Wilhelm, I had, like, a great time and all, but I need to get back to my dorm and, um, dry clean my shoelaces. Uh-huh. <sighs> wow. That's quite a massive man hunk you got there, Clover. Hmm. Ugh, I am so tired of dating dumb jockey dudes. I need a serious change in my life. Where are all the artsy-sensitive boys? <sighs> Usually taking artsy-sensitive boy courses. Like theater class. Yeah. Hey, look! An announcement for our new theater class at Mally U! I bet the artsy, sensitive guys will be all over it! I better sign up for this right away! I can't wait to be exposed to an entirely new class of guys! Ciao! Woohoo! <laughs> Let's see now where to sit for maximum hottie scopage. Uh, ah! This job burdens my very existence to its core! It's as if the students are conspiring against me! Whoa! These cute artsy types are totally combustible. Clearly, I made a mistake. Luckily, there's still time to bail. No one leaves this class without my permission. If I have to be here, so do you! Even if it's for an eternity! And see. Hey everyone, welcome to Theater 101. That was an example of an angry scene. 
<laughs> we act not because we want to, but because of a burning passion inside, lest it consume us like a fiery dragon of despair! Now it's time to cast my latest one-act play. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Can I be cast as the romantic lead? I totally have tons of experience. Hmm. Actually, I have something else in mind for you. So he kicked a chair all crazy and mean, but really he's pretty nice and he has a role in mind for me. So maybe I'm like the damsel in distress or femme fatale. Oh, and he's really cute in a tortured, artsy, sensitive kind of way. So I take it you liked your first class. Hello, are you hearing me? This is only like my life's calling. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Thanks for taking my call, ladies. That was a really sneaky, dirty trick, Jer. Why, thank you. Shall we get down to business? There's been a break-in at a clandestine computer lab. We're not sure if anything has been taken, but there are a number of top-secret and potentially dangerous programs there. And if anyone's gotten their hands on them... Hmm? Clover, for the love of Hampton Court Palace, what are you doing? I'm practicing acting indifferent for my theater class. Was I convincing? Oh, very. Perhaps these gadgets will hold your attention. The motion alarm pencil connected wirelessly to the axe powder, head for cover hoverboards, and the metamorphosis magnet filled tooth. Mad line up here. We can get some serious snooping done with these. Then by all means, hop to it. <laughs> We take a stealthy approach in order to keep our investigation secret. Good thinking, Sammy, just in case this happens to be an inside job. <laughs> the motion alarm pencil has us covered. Now let's solve this case so I can get back to where I belong, under the spotlights. The X powder can scan to see if any outside users bypass security and interface with a specific program. Cool! Well, seems like our little computer is smarter than them all. Looks like someone cloned a computer program called the Nexi Project. It has the capacity to hypnotize those exposed to a pulsating light pattern it produces. Freaky! Too bad we don't know who exactly did the cloning. But we do know that they left this piece of ripped fabric behind. Hmm. Good find, Alex. Let's get this back to Whoop for analysis. <laughs> it's the motion alarm pencil. Someone's coming. Quick, the head for cover hoverboards. Hey, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> and historical musical. This ought to be interesting. Oh, looky, the curtain's going up! Woe is me, where is my bride to be? Years of girl trouble have left me in rubble. This is kind of upbeat, but where's Clover? I thought she was going to be one of the leads. She's a lead, all right. Lead light post. <laughs> I'll never taste the feed, only this tender meat. I'm the monarch with style, thanks for staying a while. I'm King Henry VIII. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Hey! Hey! What? What? I just wanted to let everyone know that the Mallet Cafe will be open late tonight.
Buying your ticket sub gets you a free straw with every two beverage purchases. Whew, that's something you don't see every day. Ugh, that play was worse than being stuck in the valley without a cell phone. Totally. And what was with the actor's ratty wardrobe? Ultra Super Mega Low Budge Much. Well, you've got to hand it to Clover, though. She was the most convincing light post I've ever seen. Guys, I'll catch up with you in a few minutes at the cafe, okay? Sure, Clover. See you there. Wowza! Who knew acting could be so satisfying to the soul? Kind of like a Mali Cafe double soy mocha. Want to join me? Fools! Ah! These people wouldn't know good theater if they hit them like a 20-ton wrecking ball. Uh, uh guess you probably want to work on your award speech after that powerhouse performance. See you later. Guess I'll have to kick my production up another notch. And they'll have to acknowledge my greatness. <laughs> What are you doing? Ah! Oh, but here's Virgil. He said the cafe was going to be open. Virgil? I totally realized that I make playing a light post look really easy, but I researched that role extensively before I went on stage. Well, um, it, it looked very natural. And did Milton rock? He's such an amazing misunderstood artist. You definitely got the misunderstood part right. <laughs> Finally, I've got a vicious case of the munchies. Howdy, ladies. Can I get you a tin of my special baked beans and pork bellies? Virgil, Halloween's like five months away. What's with the getup? There's gold in them thar hills. That's why this old cowboy's heading west. Okay, whatever. Can I get a mineral water, no ice, and a wedge of lime? I told you, Vermin, what's on the menu. Baked beans and pork bellies. Virgil, you know my policy about eating cute things. I'm extremely against it. Gosh darn, city slickers don't know hospitality when it's offered to you. Now get out of my cantina. Hey, what's she not coming? <sighs> <sighs> okay, that was bizarre even by Virgil's standards, which is saying something. Apparently someone's been breathing in too many coffee fumes. Oh! Let's just go to bed. <laughs> I had the weirdest dream about Virgil last night. Unfortunately, we all had that dream. And even more unfortunate is the fact that it was real. Actually, I think it was a dream that just turned into a nightmare. What a dreadful mess. I'll have this place spick and span in no time. It is mankind's destiny to explore space, the final frontier. Oh. Is Mindy cleaning the classroom with her own hands? Where'd she even learn to do that? More importantly, where'd Mandy learn to do that? It is mankind's destiny to explore space, the final frontier. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so counting Virgil, that makes three cases of full-blown insanity at Malayu in the past few hours. Hmm, insanity or hypnosis. I'm calling Jerry to follow up on that stolen computer program. Go over here. Wow, that was fast, Jer. I'm glad you called. I've gotten the results on the fabric you sent. Turns out it is a rare velvet which dates back to the 16th century. Terrific! We can make a tiny set of curtains with it. That's not all. I've tracked down the person who bought it recently at an antique auction. His name is Stefan Touquet. Stefan Touquet? Who's Stefan Touquet? This is... <gasps> no way! That's Milton! But why is his name listed as Stefan? Duh! Obviously, it's one of his many stage names. The more stage names you have, the more talented you are. I think you girls should immediately investigate this Milton character. TTFN. This is ridiculous. Like, Milton would ever waste his time on crime. Let's go over to the theater right now and clear this up. Better yet, you go over to the theater and keep Milton busy while we snoop his office to see what sort of evidence turns up. What evs? This is a total waste of time. Come on, let's check out that office. <laughs> According to this, Milton used to direct plays off, off, off Broadway. That's so off Broadway, it's almost back on Broadway. He sure has written his share of plays, though. Huh? What is it, Sam? Tell me if this sounds familiar. There's gold in them thar hills. That's why this old cowboy's heading west. It is mankind's destiny to explore space. 
The final frontier! These are the lines that Mandy and Virgil were saying! But why are they in a script? I'm not sure, but it looks like we found our criminal connection. <laughs> the very thought of accusing Milton of something so silly is, like, beyond lame. <gasps> what is he up to? <laughs> so, didn't care for my play last night, huh? Maybe this will adjust your attitude. <laughs> I feel light as a butterfly. Ha 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 ha! Huh? Huh? Oh! Hmm. Huh. What would a theater geek like Milton want with a computer disc? <gasps> Nexi Project! That's the top secret hypnosis program that was stolen from the lab! Which might start to explain why people around campus are acting so weird! <gasps> and Clover is alone with that totally demanding guy! <gasps> Let's go! Keep your distance, you creepy imposter! Hmm. Excellent use of stage props, my lovely understudy. Your acting potential seems limitless! Do you mean it? Because I've been working on my skills. Yes, but now that you've seen what I'm doing, I'm going to have to cut your career short. Ah! Alex, no! <laughs> oh, my. It's drafty in here. Now, where did I put my crocheted shawl? How dare you turn our best friend into a frail old granny? <laughs> what can I say? The theater takes all kinds. <laughs> Like I fell head first into a bag of hammers? I'm great. Where are we? <gasps> okay, what is going on with Milton? The show! Because the show must go on! <gasps> I can't believe I used to like his cheesy lines. And therein lies the problem. It seems as if a few people don't enjoy my brand of theater. Judging from the old reviews in your office, most people don't enjoy it. In fact, they kind of hate it. Which is why I've decided to hypnotize those who were critical of last night's production and turn them into characters for my newest production, Disaster on the Terror Express! <sighs> Oh my! It's drafty in here. Now where did I put my crocheted shawl? It is mankind's destiny to explore space! The final frontier! Okay, so you've turned everyone into bad actors like you. What now? I'll turn all of Earth's population into actors, and the entire world will be my stage! Ha! Ha ha ha! The premise is very simple. Several unlikely characters meet on a train which is headed towards certain destruction! <laughs> By certain destruction, I take it you mean brick wall. All aboard! And action! <laughs> Those wheels are gonna slice us into one big cut roll if we don't stop that thing! I can't reach any of my gadgets! Quick, use the metal morphosis magnet for tooth! Good thinking! <clears throat> Awesome! Work like a charm! I think it worked a little too well! Come on! Nobody rewrites me! Unless I'll see to it that this play ends in tragedy! Milton 
Picard doesn't take notes on his own script. Fine. Then I guess you'll go down with the ship, just like all the extras. Huh? Ooh. Everyone, abandon ship now! <laughs> Excellent work, girls. And thankfully, we figured out a way to reverse the hypnotic effect of the computer program. And best of all... Ugh, what happened? I feel like an elephant played soccer with my head. No one will have any recollection of what happened. Don't worry, we'll fill you in on the details later, Alex. So what do you have planned for our friend Milton? Or should I say, Stefan? He'll have an entirely new audience now. His fellow inmates at the Whoop prison. Did you say audience? I'd better start working on a new play! Whoa! Perhaps a comedy! Set behind bars! Some people don't know when to give up. Huh? Ooh! Time flies when you're catching bad guys! I'm late for my date with Wilhelm. We're going to the ballet. <gasps> Wilhelm? I thought you were sick of jockey guys. That was before I realized how seriously mental artsy boys are. Ciao! <laughs> Looks like we're headed to the beach alone again. The beach? I love the beach! Let me just grab my bathing suit and I'll join you. <laughs> Ew! Jerry, go work on your base tan. Yeah, you're gonna blind us with that pasty skin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Strong like you, you Mongo man. Then everyone would respect me. Wait a second. Maybe I can be like you. <laughs> Triple Ice Vanilla Clover, extra whip. You got it, Sammy. <laughs> Be drinking! Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Back here, girls! I have great news! We're finally getting a race? Better! We're having an employee of the month competition! The best worker will get their picture on the bulletin board for the whole campus to see! The whole campus? That's just the kind of dating exposure I need! Count me in, Verge. I know, Virgil. Working at Mally Cafe isn't supposed to be about competition. It's supposed to be about teamwork and good times. Did I mention the EOTM will also get an eco-friendly sports car for the month that runs solely on coffee beans? <gasps> eco-friendly? That's awesome! In fact, why don't you go home early tonight? I'll finish your shift. It's so unfair! I was just about to offer. <laughs> Hi, girls! Uh, Alex, would you mind if I took your shift tonight? After all, a good employee of the month loves to work, work, work! Mind? Are you kidding? I could totally use a relaxing night off. Bye. Huh? 
Uh, gee, Alex, since you don't have to work tonight, and I don't have to work tonight, maybe we should not work tonight together. Come again? What I'm trying to say is, would you like to go out on a date with me? <gasps> are those VIP tickets to the opening of Torpedo, LA's hottest new restaurant? They sure are. Hmm. Wow, well, Burge, it's so sweet that you'd want to share them with me, but the truth is, I just never thought of you as more than a friend. That's okay. Maybe after our outing, you'll change your mind. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe I just need to get to know you better. crumbles, buffalo water wings with boy cheese, and the barnacle bites. Oh, okay. You're choosing for me. I guess that's nice. Uh, Alex? You look a little funny. Are you okay? Uh-oh. Oh, no! This dish must have kelp in it. I'm totally allergic. I'm really sorry. I didn't know. It's fine. I'm sure my face will go back to normal size. Ugh, eventually. Look at that! It's an hourly simulated torpedo blast! Hang on! Oh. 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 Sorry, Alex. Virgil, please don't take this the wrong way, but three sorries is a lot for one day. I think it's best we just stay friends. Excuse me. Such a loser. <sighs> this will definitely go on my never do again in a million years list. Oh. Hey, Alex. Oh, check out that stain. Or is wearing your drink for the newest fad? If you go out with Virgil, it is. Our date was a total disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, I have an important mission for you. Important enough to take me for my shift to Mally Cafe and seriously cut into my chances of winning the Employee of the Month contest? Employee of the Month? You mean that's why you took over my shift for me? Oopsie, did I forget to mention that to you? Okay, girls, back to the task at hand. A ten-foot-tall character has been sighted in Beverly Hills. By character, do you mean malice-spreading uber baddie? Well, not exactly. This one seems to be wearing red tights and a cape. Ew, fashion disaster much. Yes, well, aside from his poor attire, he's also powerlifting everything he can get his hands on. <sighs> In that case, might as well load us up with Gadget's chair. Huh? Bad date. Hmm. Well, here you are, then. <laughs> You'll have the Wind Tunnel 9000 Turbo Blast hairdryer, the Yo-Yo Lasso, the inflatable lead anvil, and a jar of super sticky dried dates. <laughs> way to stop a villain in his tracks. Indeed. Now, off you go. Ah! Hope this doesn't take too long. I want to work on my Blastocap quad shot tonight. The ideal companion for a late night study sesh. Please, everyone knows Fruity is the new coffee. That's why my Choco Berry Blended will totally win me EOTM. Get you three, Alex. I think they both sound delish, but they're going to have to wait. Look! Has one. Only his is a toy action figure. Well, we better see what's up with his real life version. Come on! <laughs> Hi there, Humongo Man. Um, would you mind putting the car down, please? <laughs> Humongo Man does what he wants! And as soon as I show everyone how strong I am, they'll all respect me! <laughs> no! 
I wonder if we could eliminate the evil part and add it to our coffee drinks. Awesome idea, Sammy! <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but Clover Sam Focus! Right, let's jet on over and surround this baddie. Ha! We'll just see about that! Why? <laughs> the toy can't do that! No worries, I got him! <laughs> Why buy muscle with muscle when you can use your gadgets? <laughs> awesome yes going, Alex. Humongo Man can be detained, but he cannot be stopped. That is, like, so optimistic of you. But really, we already won this round. <laughs> and we'll just take this for safekeeping. Hello, ladies. How's the mission going? Mission accomplished, Jer. Batty's secure for pickup. We'll drop off this humongo muscle serum in the morning. Yeah! Right now, we gotta jet back to the Maui Cafe. <laughs> we better hurry, girls, before anyone at the Maui Cafe notices Clover and I are missing. You're right, Sam. Our 15-minute breaks are almost up. I sure hope it's not too late to fix things with Alex. Huh? Sam? Clover? Alex? What are those crazy outfits they're wearing? And how are they flying? I guess being spies is fun and all, but sometimes it so interferes with other things. Spies? Did she just say spies? That's ridiculous. <laughs> or not. No wonder Alex doesn't want to date me. Compared to her, I'm totally ordinary. Congrats again on putting that baddie in his place, Alex. Uh, yeah, lucky for you, Virgil was such a lousy date. He totally revved you up. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that means I'm gonna have to seriously step up my game if I ever want to get another date with Alex. What's this? I bet if I look like you, Alex would want to date me. Virgil will be way impressed when I finish Shui Mali Cafe. All I have to do is reposition the door, windows, tables, and coffee bar. It's a coffee house, Clover, as in it's all about the java. That's why I'm importing coffee bean plants to put at every table so customers can harvest their own beans. Alex, whose idea do you like better? I think the cafe is great just the way it is. Time to show Alex what a great guy I am. Saving her from a speeding mini tram should do the trick. Alex, Virgil totally saved you! A totally buff Virgil? Have you, like, been working out? Maybe a little. <laughs> well, thanks, Virgil. That was really heroic. No biggie. I do this kind of thing all the time. See you around, Alex. See ya. Hmm. Are you sure you should be taking yoga lattes class, Alex? Yeah, like you almost got majorly squashed. I feel fine, really. Okay, Virgil, time to show Alex your next impressive move. <gasps> Virgil, that's like 
twice in one day. Yeah, good thing you were around again. I don't know what to say. Thanks, Virgil. No big deal. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> After this, Alex is sure to like me. Oh, what's that? This is so cow, as in a plane! Ah! 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 Got it! <laughs> Virgil? You're like everywhere we are today. Luckily for Alex. Yeah, lucky for me. I should be grateful considering all these freak accidents. Grateful enough to go on another date with me? Mm, like I said, I think it's best if we <gasps> just stay friends. Especially since I'm discovering I don't know you at all. Of course, I understand. <sighs> Still not good enough for you, huh? Well, I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> Don't worry, Owen. In a moment's time, you'll be back to normal. Oh, my! That's what you think, old guy! Coincidence much? I mean, hello! Virgil saved Alex three times in one day! And how did he get so strong all of a sudden? Yeah! Like you mongo strong! <gasps> The serum! Has anyone seen it lately? We totally forgot to send it to Jerry! You don't think it's gone! I'm no mathematician, but it's pretty clear 2 plus 2 equals Humongo Virgil! Girls, I'm afraid we've had a little mishap. Humongo Man, a.k.a. Irwin, has just escaped! Don't worry, we'll find him! Well, do hurry! Oh, and I'm still waiting for that serum you were supposed to deliver. <laughs> Funny you should mention that, Jer. We just realized that we sort of lost it. Lost it? Well, you'd better find it ASAP before it falls into the wrong hands. We already know whose hands it's in. Obviously, Virgil found it and took it to get Humongo. I just don't understand why he would do that. He's such a sweet guy. Duh, so he could impress you. Whoa, if I wasn't so weirded out, I might actually be flattered. We'll deal with Virgil later. Right now, we have to stop Humongo Man from terrorizing BH. <laughs> Bingo! Hmm. Oh, step away from the cars, you oversized hoe! Forget it! You Mongo Man won't be stopped this time! But I was thinking the cafe could totally benefit from some feng shui. Ah! Ah! Okay, point taken. No feng shui, but I've got a million other ideas. Ah! Hey, Virgil! Ah! Oh, 
You seem a bit tense. Let me whip you up my special blended half-calf spice chai mocha. It's very calming. Forget it! I hate decaf! Ah! Sheesh! Fine for employee of the month is hard work! You know this is just the effects of the serum, so I'm gonna do my best not to hurt you, Virgil. Too late! You already hurt me by acting like you're too good for me! Me? You're the one who's acting all weird! You totally changed after we went on our date! How can I be myself when you're busy being a spy? I knew you'd never give me another chance unless I was humongo, Virgil! This is all because you want another date? Fine! I'll give you another date! Oh. A super sticky date, to be exact! Yeah. Hmm. Whoa! Nice toss, Alex! Yeah! Way to go! She is so not getting EOTM. <laughs> Don't worry, girls. Erwin and Virgil will only be in the containment facility long enough to be returned to normal. They won't remember a thing about their humongo mischief. Good, because the EOTM announcement is in a few hours. And I'm sure to be the winner. Aw, maybe if I didn't exist. Well, I'm glad. Just because Virgil's a lousy date doesn't mean I want him going to loop jail. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hey, Bird. I'll be with you as soon as I finish alphabetizing the pastries. A biscotti, croissant, Danish. Hmm. How's it going, Clover? Great. I'll have the beans polished in just a jiff. There you go. Enjoy. Can I have your attention, please? I'd like to announce our very first Employee of the Month winner. <gasps> it's none other than... Alex! <gasps> Me? That's right. Now, time for your prize. How can that be? We worked so hard. <gasps> Jerry must have erased all the stuff we've been doing from Virgil's memory when he brought him back to normal. Of course. That's why neither of us won. <clears throat> Here's your brand new eco-friendly car, Alex. Yay! <laughs> Driving! Huh? Uh, so, uh, I was thinking, maybe if you wanted, I could go for a ride with you in your new prize? Hmm. On one condition, you promise to just be yourself. Really? If I didn't like you for who you are, Virgil, I wouldn't be going out with you in the first place. You got yourself a deal. Be yourself. But don't open any doors for me, okay? <laughs> 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 